Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Sport for Final video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 16th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. I believe that will get us to the first day of June today. Goodness gracious me. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know. Um, no, I shall get on with that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. I'll get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released the uh, ECM Day 42 day forecast and the weekend forecast as well. Please check out today's free vids so far. And uh, like, share and subscribe on those videos. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely Saturday. Coronation Saturday, of course. I hope uh, anybody that was watching it, you know, enjoys being ceremony and uh and whatnot and there we go new king queen have been crowned so uh you know congratulations to the king and queen right well uh let's start off with essentially the temperature then so uh the ct is currently sitting at 11.8 which is uh 0.6 of a degree above uh the 61 diatonic average that is provisional to yesterday to the fifth of baby that we now have the dates back thank you so much to the folks at uk for, for bringing back the dates for us makes it so much easier doesn't it to see uh where where we are and up to what point so 11.8 just over half a degree above at above Average it went down nine provisional to uh yesterday. Not being that far from average to be honest through the first sort of five days of May. These are the GFS up rare temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off above average at the moment. Uh, we're going to keep the upper air temperatures above average through the rest of the coronation weekend. But early next week, to the middle of next week, we'll find those upper air temperatures beginning to uh, slip backwards closer to average. When basically just hover quite close to average right the way throughout. To be honest, there's no sign of anything particularly warm or cool coming up over the next um a uh, couple of weeks, to be honest. So very, very close to average. Maybe a little bit of a warm-up going on there, but nothing particularly excessive. But no particularly warm or hot outliers. So, we yeah, just quite close to average over the next couple of weeks with your prayer temperature. Still unsettled, though. So here's today's uh, wet weather. We've got to drier interlude perhaps for tomorrow, but then we're back into more wet weather as we get through uh, Monday and into Tuesday, Wednesday. There'll be further showers, if not longer spells of rain coming up as well and these unsettled conditions set to last through the middle part of the month and into the second half of may as well showers and or longer spells of rain on the way temperature normally is on the 6th to the 14th of may going to be a little bit above average not excessive but slightly above and um, precipitation anomaly so the 6th to the 14th of may average or wetter than all especially so for more southern and eastern areas Later with a map from EarthNorthSchool.net shows uh, we've got a little area of low pressure uh, across the south of the country today. Back to below, but it's brought the rain for the coronation and anybody having, you know, parties, street parties, barbecues and whatnot today. Um, <laughs> a little bit of a, a little bit of a soggy one, isn't it? We will have a window of drier weather tomorrow. So if you've got like any barbecues or anything, probably, probably a bit late in the day now, isn't it? To, to cancel and rearrange for tomorrow. But tomorrow will be a better day. But then Monday, uh, probably going to be the worst of the three because Monday looks really unsettled. Do check out the, uh, the weekend forecast for more. Right, here we go then. This is how the latest you can make your run. is looking... The midnight on Tuesday, we'll have a trough of low pressure clearing away to the east. So taking outbreaks of rain to the east with it and followed by, <coughs> excuse me, brushy showers. And then on through the middle to second half next week, we will initially be quite showery. But by Friday, a little bit of a ridge building up from the southwest should bring something a bit drier and warmer through the end of the week and into the beginning of uh, next weekend. How long that ridge lasts for um, is a little bit uh, open to question. But Friday, <coughs> I'm so sorry, once again, everybody, Friday to Saturday uh, should see uh, some drier and warmer conditions. I come, again, pushing away from the coach, that would take showery outbreaks of rain 
uh, with it on Monday and Tuesday. It stays unsettled, Ben, through the Mill Park next week as well. There'll be further shower to come. By Friday, a little bit of a ridge building up from the Azores High, so that turns things drier for a couple of days, right to Saturday. However, by Saturday, a weather system already starting to push into the northwest will probably come south was for Sunday next weekend and uh, keep it rather mixed. This is how the GFS midnight run looks once more. We've got a weather system moving across the country, taking showery bursts with it uh, from Monday to Tuesday. No pressure just knocking around the country with showers or uh, longer spells of rain through the middle part of the week. A rich choice to build up from the southwest riding to Saturday, but doesn't really come off another weather system moving in from the northwest, bringing shower conditions, followed by a further reach from the uh, Azores. And on we go into the x range, Try to get that risk going in the south, but the next low pressure sort of rolls in from the northwest. So it's a mixed outlook with showers or longer spells of rain right the way up to the end of the GFS midnight run, which today gets us to the 22nd of May. The GFS 6 is again push that front across the country, bank holiday Monday and Tuesday. Showery conditions, she went to first year. Uh, towards Friday, something a little bit drier, bridging up from the southwest with the Azores high on Saturday, but the next load sort of zips through Sunday through to Monday, and then high pressure re-establishes behind that by day 10, turning things a little bit drier, not for long, you see high pressure pulls back out to west, allows more energy, more weather systems to come in from the northwest. So the GFS 6 then is also turning rather showery and cool as we go into the second half of May. There's no sign of more than a couple of days of drier, uh, warmer weather. It looks like it's going to stay mixed into the second half of the month. If you enjoyed the video, then please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth's Weather Biz. It's amazing, it's incredible. And we thank you so very much everybody. Uh, for uh, doing that. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely coronation day. Uh, GM, again, we've got a weather system moving across the country from uh, Monday into Tuesday. That will take outbreaks of rain away to the east, followed by blushy showers from the middle part of next week. And then towards the end of next week, a reach extending up from the Azores. High turns things a little bit drier and warmer from Friday to Saturday. Um, not for long, though. No weather system comes back into the northwest uh, around days 8, 9, 10. That'll be more an unsettled condition into the north and west could say mostly dry i suppose down in the south and then the ecm rounds it all off it's all much of a muchness with low pressure dominating the weather throughout uh most of next week only when we get to friday on saturday do we start to get a bit of a ridge being from the southwest making a couple of days of dry warm weather but look at this trough moving southwards again saturday into sunday back take showery bursts of rain southwards with it um, as all as high by day 10, trying to reach back in again, you'll notice, but that is within quite cool air coming from the north and from the northeast. This is a precipitation forecast based on that. Each year run from tometeo.com. So showers and long as well rain will rumble on into the evening, then push off to the east. Tomorrow could have some showers in the east, but they won't last that long. But look at all this rain piling in from the west on a bank holiday Monday. It does look a little bit of a washout, I have to say. It's bank holiday Monday, quite concerning for anyone who has plans. That will get out of the way overnight Monday into Tuesday. And then we're looking at further showers and or longer spells of rain through the remainder of the week. There could be some thunder mixed in with some of those showers as well. A little bit dry by the time we get through to Friday and Saturday, but not for long. Here comes the next weather system coming down across the country from Saturday into Sunday with a uh, further showery burst. So when we're back into something a little bit drier again by day 10. Means there'll be options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. It gets us to the 16th of uh, May. 24 members of the ECM ensembles, including the control and the operation run. Having a little bit of ridge building up from the southwest on uh, day 10. So it does turn things a bit drier for day 10. Again, how long that ridge lasts is open to question 15. Again, with high pressure. Just to the southwest, low pressure is up to the north, so that high pressure reaching up from the southwest should bring dry weather to the south and west, but always quite unsettled in the north. And then 12 with low pressure over and to the north and the east of the country, that obviously is the coolest and most unsettled option with winds in from the northwest. In two-week time, these are the options that we've got. It'll go to the 21st of May, 15 members of the ECM 
ensembles have a nice area of high pressure then over the top of the coach. That's a bit of a change. So an area of high pressure, an area of, area of high pressure is actually there. Rather than a ridge, it's like a proper area of high anti-cyclone sitting over the country. However, 14 almost as many um, have a low pressure over and to the west of the country. And obviously, they're, uh, they're unsettled and can be quite cool. 13 with a ridge from the southwest to the northeast. I've tried to settle things down. But we'll have winds in from a rather cool east or northeast direction. And then nine with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. And that's like a flat type pattern. With those unsettled weather in the north, the driest weather down in the south. Uh, CFSB2 finally means a 500 millibar height and knowledge breaking down into weekly periods. The first week period is going to take us from the 6th to 12th of May, the coming week. Looks a little bit mixed with some low pressure to our north and northwest. The uh, week two. Uh, anomaly is looking like this. It's 13th to the 19th of May. High pressure trying to ridge up from the southwest from Azor, but still there's low pressure in the North Atlantic, keeping things rather showery and a little bit on the cool side as well. Week 3 <laughs> is going to be the 20th to 26th of May. Low pressure away to the northwest. High pressure begin to build over Scandinavia. Could that start to bring up something a little bit warmer? From the south, possibly. A lot happens into week four. This is the 27th of May to the 2nd of June. High pressure then centred over Germany and Denmark with low pressure out in the Atlantic. And that would really get winged up from the south. And that could turn quite hot. Maybe our first little mini heat wave uh, there. However, the low pressure in the Atlantic is likely to turn things thundery quite quickly. I would have thought, but that could be the first real push up in the temperature there in the closing days of May to the opening days of June. But remember, it is uh, a long way off. It's four weeks away. So it's the remote. It's the most unreliable part of all of this. We shall see time will tell. Right, and we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about guys where this. And thank you so much, everybody, uh, for uh, doing that. So I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We will have the uh, 9th summer update. We're looking at April data. Uh, for that one, and uh, if that wasn't enough, it'd be a 10 to 14 day for you tomorrow as well. On Bank Holiday Money, everything's going to be the same. No historic video for this Bank Holiday Money, it's just going to be a regular upload day, and we will be live streaming at 8 pm on uh, Monday evening as well. Uh, you enjoy the rest of this Saturday, this Coronation Day. If you're off to any sort of parties or whatnot, then have a lovely, lovely time. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with more updates. But for this video, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now.